Trevor, um, it was a frustrating night. Uh, World Cup qualification still very much in sight. Of course it is for, for England. But I want to put this to you. When, with 14 minutes to go, what does it tell you that Harry Kane, as England go all out for a winner, Harry Kane is taken off? Where are we at with Harry Kane? Well, he's struggling, isn't he? And you look at his, his performances for Tottenham this season, he's not scored a Premier League goal. Um, obviously, we, we, we witnessed what went on in the summer with the uh, protracted situation between Manchester City and Tottenham um, for his services. For me, he's kind of reflecting a player that doesn't want to be at his domestic club. Um, he's not got the move that he, he wanted and he's struggling to deal with it mentally. Are you honestly telling us that's on his mind last night? I would imagine so, yeah, because he wants to win things and I can't see that happening at Tottenham. His hold-up play um, was great. He's not thinking about that, Trevor, last night. Well, no, he's not thinking about that, but players play... It's part of his demeanour is what you're saying. Uh, some players play well when they're happy, they're happy at their club, they're happy in their life. Other players, it's completely the opposite. I, I, I'd guess that Harry's the former where when he's happy at his club he's happy in his, his relationship at home and his family life's all happy he will play good football at the moment that's not happening you look at his the, the, the technical part of his game his hold up play wasn't great he, his touch was off it hmm. he wasn't getting on passing lanes he didn't seem to understand the patterns of play uh, he lacked energy it, there was literally no threat from Harry Kane and I understand why, why that is because he, his confidence is not there and that's why Gareth Southgate take, had to take him off because he, he wasn't a threat. He's just scored in every other game leading up to that game internationally. So what, why would he be conf, why would he be lacking confidence? He's just in the in the most recent international games leading up to this. He's domestically he's not hit his straps, and you might have an argument to run there that he's not in the greatest of. No, humor. but with 14 minutes to go, Simon and England are trying to get a winner. Kane's the last guy you're going to take off, well, isn't he? Ordinarily, well, they, well, they were all, they were all poor. Why well, would you take Why would you take the Why would you take Jack Grealish off? The manager made yeah, a decision to change it up there. to give Tammy Abrahams a run because he felt he needed to change it up. And we well, Why would he we... change it if he looked really dangerous? He wouldn't do that. But, but, but he but, didn't look but dangerous. Nobody did. Yeah. Well, I think. So the manager, the manager talked about it afterwards and said that collectively the team were a mile off. Mm. I'm paraphrasing what he said. Yeah. And, that, and, and pretty much what you've said. So Harry Kane was amongst those players. Raheem Sterling as well. Yeah, but, but I think it, if you, if you, listen, I, I don't want to start I digging out play. I, I don't want to start digging out plays well, we individually. <laughs> we there were, there were, there were a few poor performances. I think Raheem has to be brought into that conversation. I think Luke Shaw with his decision making, he's a defender first and foremost. Mm. You know the, the the mistakes to make. For me, it was one of them where they started the game. They must have looked at the team sheet and thought wow this is the team we wanted to play they played it they thought it was going to happen it didn't happen and there was some real poor performances did we think Harry did we, Kane did we think Harry Kane was great in the European Championships in general no no before he didn't get his move no when the move but, was imminent but that's just one of the things so I, I just think I think he's been I think he's been out of sorts for some time yeah I did I agree you know, I think he looked leggy yep. for some time and we can conflate it into the situation he didn't get in Man City but I think he's looked out of sorts for about six months yeah I agree with that Mm. And I think that's the narrative that's here. We should be more concerned about why he's out of sorts rather than sort of paraphrasing or suggesting that it's because he's got these well, dark thoughts in mind about someone else. I've mentioned a few things. It wasn't else. just that. His confidence didn't look right. His, his movement wasn't great. He, he, like you said, his leg. There's a lot of different things that can come into it. You can't just say, oh, we can't mention... But he has scored. We can't mention Manchester City because I think Poland. that is one of the reasons why he, he, essentially he's not playing well. But he has scored in his last three international games. Okay, Andorra are a pub side internationally. But he scored against the Poles. He scored against the Hungarians in the uh, away fixture. So in his international games, he's doing what Harry Kane does. But I think the number nine for England will score because they create so many chances. It doesn't matter who it is. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Thursday morning, 10 till 1. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.